Monday. It's not been a great start to the week so far, I'll be honest. Um, I've woken up with this weird blurry vision in one eye, which I get sometimes. I don't know what causes it. I don't know if it's like a headache in the night or what, but it leaves me. It lasts the whole day. It leaves me the whole day feeling really like not with it, half asleep. And then add into that that I've just found out that photo bucket has caused a load of problems by charging people now to host their photos. So I used to host some of my um, blog photos with Photo Bucket. They're now charging some ridiculous amount of money for you to have your photos on there. So basically about a year's worth of blog photos have just disappeared and they're kind of like holding them to ransom essentially. So you can't see them unless you're gonna pay this ridiculous amount of money. So that's a big blow for a Monday morning, I have to be honest. So, so far it is not going well. Um, yeah, great. Hello, happy Tuesday. Yesterday was a pretty rubbish Monday, I'll be honest. It literally was like the Monday from hell. Basically, I just gave up on Monday and hoped that Tuesday would be better. And it is, it's nice and sunny. I'm in a better mood today. I'm off now into town. <clears throat> I'm gonna be shooting with my friend Hannah. Uh, normally I just shoot photos for her. It's part of um, my job. It's another way that I earn a living is from shooting other bloggers. But actually today we're just gonna help each other out with some photos. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna take some for her and she's gonna take some for me as well. So that's good, because I could do with getting some content. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be shooting this, which is um, from a new brand actually that I've not heard of before. I'm going to link um, all the bits and bobs down below. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really loving this little top. It's really sweet. It's got such pretty detail on it. So yeah, happy, happy today. So I'm going to take you along with me and show you a bit of me and Hannah shooting. So we've just finished shooting. It's really sunny and really, really warm. Here is Hannah. Oh, I need to put my sunglasses on. I think I can oh. Do you want me to do it no. again? No, I'm about to She's comment. very diva like, isn't she? <laughs> so, <laughs> if boobs. you follow Hannah's channel, you'll have seen. The baby bum! The baby bum! <laughs> my fellow blogger. Well, you're not Essex, are you? No. Suffolk. She's Suffolk, He's really. Anglia. He's Anglia. She's having a bubba. First blogger, Bubba, that I know of, like in my um, circle. Uh -huh. So it's really exciting. Yeah, um, it's been a bit of a secret, but um, Hannah had a post last week on her blog announcing it, so now I don't have to keep it a secret anymore. And we can start shooting maternity outfits. Oh my God. Maternity clothes are quite ugly though. Like yeah. I really haven't found anything that I particularly like. I've just been upsizing clothes. Like we need to find some cool maternity wear, so let us know people if you know of any cool brands oh, anyway yeah very hot gonna go home now and walk the dogs exciting you gonna say hello Who's this ah you're lovely aren't you you're lovely you're my best friend aren't you yeah i love eddie as well but eddie is quite deaf so if i chat away to him he doesn't really he doesn't even hear me um, whereas Gus does respond when I talk to him, don't you? No lick in the face though. No, no licking. No licking, gorgeous man. Yeah. It's going to be your birthday soon, isn't it? Yeah. We got you last July, so we rescued him uh, last July. So yeah, we're going to have had him a year pretty soon. Oh, bye then. I'm currently spiralising potatoes to make this dish that me and my husband really like to eat. So I've got this spiralizer here, the salt spiralizer, and um, your potatoes come out like this. And then I bake these potatoes with chicken, bacon, mushrooms, and a tin of chicken and mushroom soup. And then at the last minute I put cheese on the top and it goes crispy, and honestly, it is so, so nice, um, but it just takes a while to cook in the oven, so I'm starting early. Good morning. 
morning. It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, it is in fact Wednesday. Um, just off into town. Decided to bite the bullet and get my eyebrows done. So I used to get them done all the time at Benefit, but when I went freelance and started working um, for myself to try and save a bit of money, I do do them myself. I'm quite um, a dab hand. But they've just kind of got to the point where they've lost a bit of their shape. So every so often I go back to Benefit, I get them done, and then all I have to do is keep them topped up for a while. So yeah, I'm going to go into town and do that. And then um, this, well, this morning when I get back, I need to finish editing last week's vlog. I was up till half one last night editing it. Um, it's taking longer than I thought because it's a brand new program for me that I've uh, bought to do my vlogs. So I think the first one's always going to take me a little bit longer. So yeah, off into town and then edit, edit, edit. Hello, hello. Here I am. What an amazing, beautiful day. Oh, hello, B. What a beautiful day it is. I'm here at Wivenhoe House in Colchester. I'm meeting Laura and Hannah for afternoon tea to celebrate Laura's birthday. I'm so excited, but it's boiling, absolutely boiling. So I'm just exploring the grounds before they get here. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. That's within her house itself behind me. Um, but the grounds itself are so pretty, so I'm gonna show you now. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the girls because I am unseasonably early. I'm never early, you can ask Hannah that, I'm always, always late. So, I'm just going to have a sit down and wait for them because it's so beautiful outside. I've got a little present for Laura because it's her birthday, well it was her birthday last week I think, but this is the first time we've been able to get together, so yeah, I'm excited to eat all the cake. And it's gluten free. Here's the birthday girl. Hey. You so look old. nice. Oh, thanks. Did you? Old? You're not old. I am old. I'm 30 next year. <laughs> I'm already thir 30. <laughs> tea has arrived this is Hannah's afternoon tea all for Hannah her own <laughs> special little one so this is all um, normal as in with gluten and then me and Laura who are gluten free have got this selection scones I think they're little chocolates to say happy birthday we've got creme brulee which I have to say I love creme brulee This isn't a very good angle of me. It's definitely not a good angle of you. Good morning. It is Friday. Hooray. We are off to the new house again. So I am back at the house. Uh, we've only got one week now. Oh, clang. I just walked into something. Yeah, we've only got a week now before we move in. So we're just here checking out what's been done so I'm going to show you a little sneaky peek because the kitchen is part fitted and they've started to lay our beautiful wood floor in so I'm going to show you this is Roy our builder <laughs> there's Ben it's all very exciting <laughs> so I've spent my afternoon packing up my wardrobe. Just for the record, this is not it. There is also, in the hallway, <laughs> that case, this, that case, that bag there. Yeah, all of that is my clothes. <laughs> Oops. Oh, actually, yeah, there's some in there as well. So I had um, a couple of deliveries arrive actually while I was um, packing up. This one came from Revlon, which is really cute. 
it's a little box of um, just a few of their products. Um, so there's the Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour, there's an Insta Blush Stick, which actually, I really like blush sticks, they're so quick. Um, I used to use one all the time from MUA and then stopped using it, so actually I'm quite excited to have that again. A highlighting stick as well and then a couple of the HD gel lip colours so yeah looking forward to trying these out and the other thing that came was a little package from Clobo um, so I don't know if you've heard of Clobo but um, they make beautiful jewellery um, it's all silver um, lots of like stacking bracelets and things and um, I've worked with them for a little bit now and they send me pieces every so often and I just I wear them to death especially the bracelets so they've surprised me with this one a little box I love the boxes they're like little um like drawers really sweet it's a necklace look at that so it's rose gold it's a little pineapple Oh, thanks, Clobo. That's really, really nice. That's obviously from their new collection. It is Saturday. Okay, so another busy day today of house stuff. We are just about to go out in the car. We are going to some charity shops to drop off the bits and bobs that we didn't sell at the boot sale and some other bits that we've decided to give to charity. So Ben is just loading up the car now. We're gonna go and do that. Then we're gonna go to the range, our favorite shop in the world. We need to buy some blinds and um, curtain poles and things for our new house. And um, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, yesterday I went into a charity shop and bought a table, a really thin, um, high sort of console table. It's metal and glass. And I'm gonna do a bit of an upcycling job on it and um, gold it and marble it and everything. And I'll probably put it on my blog or maybe, maybe on my YouTube, but I don't know. So we've got to go and pick that up as well. But yeah, we're getting there. As you can see, the place is still an absolute bomb site behind. But upstairs is getting a bit tidier in the sense that there's boxes everywhere. But yeah, so busy, busy. Off we go. I'm just in the car waiting for Ben. We've just been to the range. Love a bit of the range. So I'm just hiding in the car because he just had to take back the curtain pole we bought because it was bent and they don't have any others. So I'm just uh, drinking a little slush puppy. If you watch my Insta stories, you'll know I'm really, really addicted to slush puppies. And this one I didn't finish, so I put it in my freezer. And then I got it out this morning and I've left it in the car so it can defrost a little bit. And now I'm drinking slush puppy goodness. Mmm. Here he is. He'd probably be really grumpy because um, the customer service lady at the range was not very helpful, was she, Ben? No. She wasn't here to help like her t shirt yeah, said. Yeah, t shirt said here to help. She wasn't. So I've spent most of today editing a video for Sunday. It is the video of when me and Gus did the muddy dog race and honestly it's the footage is just so funny. Oh here's the man himself. Hello. You alright? You just had your tea haven't you? Yes. Is that why you're licking your lips? Because you've had your tea. Why do you look so sad? What's the matter? Anyway, yeah, so that's what I've spent most of today doing. And then actually, the lady who has bought our house has been round today um, just to take some measurements and also like, ask things like, how does the boiler work and stuff like that. So that's nice. Um, nice to meet her. She's really nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do a bit of editing. So not very exciting. So I'll probably um, catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning. Hello. Eddie's in a right hyper mood. <laughs> Jesus. Morning, it is Sunday morning. I am up a little bit late because I was up late last night editing my video of me and Gus doing the Muddy Dog Challenge. It's so cute. I'm really, really happy with it. It's just really sweet and I really hope it gets like awareness out about Battersea Dogs Home and the race itself. So um, if you haven't watched it yet, please, please watch it um, and give it a little thumbs up because uh, it would really mean a lot. Um, I've got to do some more packing. So it's going to be a really boring day, in fact. And in fact, the whole of next week is going to be a really, really boring day. A uh, week. So, because all I'm going to be doing is packing. But anyway, cup of tea. 
So I'm just packing up all my handbags. So this is the room where they live. I have this big long shelf for them all. Um, and it actually then became my husband's office. Hence why we're moving, because we need more than one office and he currently works amongst all my handbags. So I've packed most of them. I'm just about to pack up my beloved Gucci, which is one of the biggest purchases that I've ever made. And um, I still love her so much. She's so pretty. She's really small, but I am a small bag person. So I love her and I've obviously kept the box, the dust bag, uh, the dust bag and the bag came in. So, because I like to keep those kind of things. So I'm just gonna pack her up now. This is one of my favourite ever bags. Um, I love it, it's so cute and random. I saw it at the Accessorise Press Day and uh, as soon as it came out that year I asked for it for Christmas and I think, I think my husband bought it me for Christmas. I'm thinking of doing actually um, a bag video. Maybe like, because um, I've got a few, I guess what you'd call designer handbags but they're like um, designer handbags under well, all of them are under £500 apart from the Gucci. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a video if people would be interested. So yeah, let me know in the comments if that's a video that you would like to see me record. Also in this room behind the door is my wedding dress. So I think this is the back actually. Yeah, so that's the back. So you can see it was really um, detailed. It had this amazing, I don't know if you can see, this embroidery, this lace which was like embroidered with gold thread. But essentially what happened was the train down here, oh my god look how dirty it is, oh, that's still from the day, that's so bad. Anyway, the train got stood on and I lost a load of crystals and beads basically the shop where I bought it from even several years after ordered me replacement beads and crystals from America um, so I still need to take it into them um, get it repaired I lost if you can see I lost a button at the top as well get it repaired and then I can send it off to get cleaned and one of the reasons I chose it was because my mum's wedding jacket she had this like she would call it a bolero, a bolero, bolero, um, had daisy, guppu, did you say it, guppu, lace? And when I saw this dress and saw that it had these daisy shapes on it, which were almost exactly like my mum's jacket, that's kind of why I chose it. And also, because it was effing gorgeous. <laughs> 